discuss about the power relation in M wave. As we know, power of M wave is basically equal to the sum of the power of carrier and side vent power. So we can say the power of AM wave is equal to to the sum of power of carrier upper side vent and lower side vent and lower side band frequency component components let's the general expression of as we know the general expression of AM wave is given as AC cos omega CT plus MT cos omega CT where AC is amplitude of carrier signal carrier signal and MT is the mass signal where MT is equal to AM cos omega MT here omega c is a frequency of carrier signal frequency of carrier signal and omega m is a frequency of mass signal let a carrier signal is denoted as CT and which is equal to AC cos omega CT. So the carrier power can be calculated as the carrier power which is PC is equal to AC cos omega CT whole square and it can be represented as written as 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi a square cos square omega ct dt and which is equal to ac square by 2 now the side band power side band power which is represented as PS is nothing but equal to the mean square value of mass signal MT cos omega CT therefore PS can be written as MT cos omega ct whole square and which can be further expressed as 0 to 2 pi mt square cos square omega ct dt and it can be written as 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi 
1 by 2 2 cos square omega ct m square t dt or sideband power is 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi 1 by 2 m square t dt plus 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi m square t cos 2 omega ct dt as you know in am generation band pass filter is used filter is used to filter out the second integral term this second integral term the second term therefore the sideband power can be written as 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi 1 by 2 t dt and we will neglect the second term the second term can be neglected or the sideband power which is ps is nothing but either mean square value of 1 by 2 square t it can be also written as m square t this however we know that the total sideband power is due to equal contribution of lower sideband and upper sideband Therefore, the lower sideband is equal to upper sideband power and which is equal to 1 by 2 and it can be like m square t by 2. Since sideband power is upper sideband upper sideband and lower sideband power therefore the total power of the AM signal therefore total power of AM which is P is equal to carrier power and sideband power and as you know the carrier power is c square and sideband power is mean square value of matches signal by 2 or you can write the pt is equal to 1 by 2 is plus mean square value of mt If, if we consider the modulation index value mu greater than equal to 0 and less than 1 then this pt can be written as pc mu square by The total power or transmitted power is a, is a total transmitted power.
transmitted power in terms of carrier power and modulation index where PC is a carrier power and mu is a modulation index. index. Now if mu is equal to 0 then PT is equal to PC. And in this case there is no modulation. If mu is equal to 1 then PT will equal to PC 1 by 2 and equal to 1.5 of PC. We can write the PT is equal to 1.5 times of PC. And this is basically a total power, total AM power is 50% or total AM power is increased by 50%. This equation shows total AM power increased by 50%. And it can be also interpreted as the maximum that can amplifier that without disturb of yeah, without distortion of and yeah, without distortion of without distortion of sinusoidal carrier.